So this is a follow-up video from another previous video I made about how and why people don't give out their salary. Since I was the one who mentioned it, and I want to be transparent and not be a hypocrite for posting that video, I'm going to reveal how much I make. So eventually I'm going to post a picture of my pay stub. This is my bi-weekly pay stub for my current position as of August 9, 2019. That's when I got paid. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you a picture of that pay stub. I'm going to blur out, of course, my information, but you're going to see everything. But before I show it to you, I need to at least briefly mention my educational background. That way you at least know where I'm coming from. So I did go to college, which is probably why you might see it's greater than some of you guys. If you guys are watching it in a different state or from a different area from my location, could be a good amount for you, especially because I just graduated. I'm relatively young. I'm 25 years old. This is my starting salary as of this current position. I could get higher in the future with bonuses or raises. I'm not trying to show off or anything, but I do want to be transparent. And I do want to give you a baseline as to what that current position gives out. I know you can search on like salary.com or Glassdoor, but this is my current position at a relatively young age, starting my career. So here's a brief introduction to my educational background. Back in 2016, I graduated from UC Riverside with a bachelor's in chemistry. I went on to complete my master's in environmental engineering from UC Irvine back in December 2017. I worked in a research lab dealing with cancer right after I graduated from UC Irvine with a master's in environmental engineering. Even though it didn't really have anything to do with, or it wasn't really even related to that field, I was able to intern with them because of my previous lab experience. I wasn't too thrilled about it just because it wasn't really what I majored in during my master's. I don't have a pay stub of that, but when I interned with them, I made $17 an hour. And then eventually I was hired full time and then I made $69,000 $300 in that research lab as a research associate. Things happened, I got laid off. Now I'm currently working as an environmental engineer and with that position I'm currently making $75,000 a year. And I started that position on March 2019. So now that you know how much I make, I'm going to show you a picture of that. This is my bi-weekly pay stub. It was when I got paid on August 9, 2019. So again, I'm going to blur out personal information, but you're going to see the numbers. So just a reminder, this is salary based, this is not per hour, even though it says $36.05. I don't get overtime, so whether I'm there more hours on a day or less hours on a day, I'm still getting the same amount. I'm still putting in 80 hours for every two weeks. That's how I fill out my time card. So if you do the math, $36.05 times 80 hours for every two weeks, that equals $2,884. That's every two weeks, and that's 52 weeks per year. So times this by 26, you'll get roughly 75000 a year. So this position, $75,000 per year, is located in Los Angeles, California. I am relatively young. I'm 25 years old. This position, even though it says in the job description that you need years of experience, I don't have that much experience in environmental engineering because, again, it came from that lab background. This actually is on the lower end of the spectrum. So I know if you look at Glassdoor or Salary.com, you might see higher compensation for the same position. But honestly, I'm not complaining because that's a lot for me for a relatively young age, even despite my educational background. I don't know how much you guys are making, but if you want, you guys can comment down and compare and contrast different locations, different skill sets, years of experience. Just let me know what you guys think about it. I know it may seem like I'm a bit showing off, but I am happy with what I have. I know that if I were to share my salary to my group of friends back in high school, some of them went on to med school and are like doctors or pharmacists, some of them went on to IT, computer engineering, and some of them are still struggling with finding themselves, I know I'd be technically in that higher bracket. But my goal isn't to show off or be condescending. I just want them to know that, that they can achieve whatever salary they want so long as they put their mindset to it. And whether or not they feel comfortable sharing what they make, then it doesn't matter to me. I'm really just sort of self-centered and focused on my own, on achieving and bettering myself. I know it's a bit selfish of me, but regardless, I don't want them to be impacted or feel less of a valued person just because someone else shares a higher salary or makes more than them. But anyway, this information was just for you guys to know what this position makes in a certain location. If you guys feel comfortable, try how much you make. Because overall, I just wanted to be clear and transparent, not a hypocrite, when I say how much I make. So there you have it.